Alright, we are back continuing year three of the sim with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Before we get into it, I'm just going to read a couple comments because today we're going to go through the trade deadline and I think we're going to make a blockbuster deal. So, um, people in the comments, the one minute wrestler said to trade him. Speedy Gaming, the man who's been here since the start of the series says, I, th I think you should trade Malkin and a first or a third for Carter Hart or a big name goalie. If that does not go um through the uh, then trade him for a starter with do fast as his value will drop because he is older so speed is saying to get it done right away um so let's look at our team real quick here so we can afford to lose evgeny malkin if we really wanted to uh we can get rid of him uh put granlin up to the second line because that's where he could play and then maybe get a third line center in the uh in the trade deadline as well but we could throw Eric Stahl up here. Um, so it really would look like bang, bang, Eric Stahl here. And then put a fourth liner where where he needs to be. That's pretty much what we might go for. But if we can get a better third line center, um, that would be great. But for the time being, I 100% agree that we do need a goaltender. As my controller batteries are low. Tristan Jari just isn't it. I mean, looking at 32 games played, he has an 898 save percentage. Um, maybe we make the trade now before trade deadline and then our trade deadline um, focus will be for that third line center so you know what let's go out let's try to trade Gino I kind of like the idea of getting Carter Hart but let's see what we can get here so we got John Gibson over in Anaheim uh, that value is way too high for my liking <clears throat> Aaron Hill is interesting um, Arizona can afford to lose a goalie we can either go with Darcy Kemper or we can go with Aiden Hill who's 26 um, which isn't bad He's a starting goaltender elite. He doesn't have the greatest stats, though. Uh, it's a good thing we checked that. He's at 1.32 for one year. Maybe that's someone we could pick up in free agency. I think we're going to skip on Aiden Hill. Interesting. I'm interested in this guy here. Uh, Uko Pekka Lukanen. Um, 88 overall. He's got a 901 save percentage of 30 games played. He's an elite goaltender, um, which isn't bad. How many years left does he have? Two years. All right, so Buffalo is a decision we can make. I kind of like the look of that. I don't know if they'd be willing to trade him given that he's the only goaltender they have. Here we got Jacob Markstrom. Nothing good there. Thatcher Demko is a shout, but I, I'm still liking the guy in Buffalo. Carter Hart would be interesting. I don't know if I really want to trade with the Philadelphia Flyers as, you know, the big rivalry and all that stuff. But looking at Carter Hart, he's 24. He's at 6.6 .6 mil. Um, he's had a really good year. Um, so Carter Hart could be the second choice. I'm still liking that guy up in, in Buffalo, to be honest with you. I think we're going to try to go for him first, if anything, because uh, I don't know. He I think he is younger, too. He's at a cheaper contract for the time being. The only good thing with Carter Hart is, is he's already a 90. And we have him locked up for four years when he comes in. Um, so it would be interesting. I, I just don't know. All right, yeah, I think we're going to try for that guy over in Buffalo here. Um, again, he's 23. Um, 901 save percentage isn't too great, but uh, how's Buffalo doing? They're doing decent, to be fair. Uh, we have him for two years, so we would have to negotiate with him. But I think I want to try for him. Again, he's only, um, he's only 23, so he can progress. He's 23. Uh, if we go look over at Carter Hart, he is already, I believe, 25 or 26, right? 24. I mean, he's only a year older. All right, you know what? I think we're going to go with Carter Hart first. He's had the better stats, too. Um, so, Carter Hart, um, it is time to say goodbye to Geno Malkin. I think it's only fair. We've had him for so long. Um, Pittsburgh would have too many goalies, so we have to get rid of a goaltender. No problem. We'll get rid of fours. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of Forsberg. I think Tristan Jari will be a better backup for sure. Um, now Philadelphia would have too many people. Oh, my God. All right, let's look at their block here. Uh, Del Cole, sure. Philadelphia would be over the cap now. Oh, my goodness. So I'm fine with retaining if we have to. How much do we have to retain here? We'll retain, like, 5% of his contract. Um, and I don't think that's going to go through right away. So I think we're going to throw in a second and let's see if this goes through. So this is a trade we're proposing to the Philadelphia Flyers. Evgeny Malkin, his time in Pittsburgh is coming to an end. 
Anton Forsberg, who we just signed in free agency for two years, and a second round pick of ours for Carter Hart and a Michael Dell Cole. Let's see if this goes through. Trade rejected. So the Flyers are totally willing, uh, are totally unwilling to part ways the way you requested from us. So we're gonna throw in a first round pick instead. Will this go through? No. Okay. First and a second. May, may <laughs> do I dare to do it? Do I dare to do it? Let's see if this goes through here. Trade rejected. All right. And, uh, we're going to have to make a trade with the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Carter Hart was a good shout, but you know what? This guy in Buffalo is probably going to be just as good as Carter Hart. So we're going to take the chances with him. Falcon, um, one for one would definitely not go through. They need another skater. So I don't know if this would go through. I think we would have to throw in our second round pick. And I don't even know if that would go through at this point. But this is a trade we're propose proposing to the Buffalo Sabres. Malkin, Ajari, and a second for Lukanen and Quinn just for the skaters. I don't think this will go through. Let's see. Trade rejected. Your offer to us is filling needs we have with the values in there. So you know what? First round pick, um, I think we can get someone back that's a little bit better than Quinn. Um, maybe we go with a young guy here, might as well. All right, let's see if this will go through. It's Evgeny Malkin, Tristan Jari, and a first round pick for Lukanen and Benning. Um, Benning is just a top six guy. He's going to be a depth defenseman for us. Um, we have him for two years at 2.1, so if we have to get rid of him, we will. But let's see if this will go through. No, not even. All right, so let's get rid of Matt Benning. At this point, we're just looking for a goaltender, man. You know what? They don't want our first. We'll give them a first and a fifth. Let's see if this goes through. So Malkin Jari, a first and a fifth for Lukanen. And I'm going to go put that defenseman back. And if I'm saying that goaltender's name wrong, uh, I apologize. Um, I'm pretty bad with names, if you couldn't tell. All right, let's see if this will go through. Malkin Jari, a first and a fifth for Lukanen and Matt Benning. No, not even, dude. Right, I'm interested to see if this will go through. We're going to retain 50% of Geno's contract. Um, we're getting rid of a first, a second, and a fifth for this year. For Carter Hart, Michael Del Cole, Tristan Jari is also on his way out. Let's see if this goes through. Not even. I got one more idea. I, I'm not, I don't suggest doing this as well. We're going to get rid of our other second as well. So a 2023 first and second and a 2024 second round pick. Along with Tristan Jari and Malkin for Carter Hart and Michael Del Cole. Will this go through? There it is. All right. We paid a bargain. Like a lot. Not a bargain. We paid a lot for Carter Hart. Um, I think we needed to make the move that we that we made. Malkin's time in Pittsburgh is now done. He's playing for our rivals in Philadelphia. I know some of you Pittsburgh Penguins fans aren't going to like that. But it needed to be done, guys. And now we have a starting goaltender, which is just great. And we need to call someone up here. Uh, we'll call up Day, sure. And now we still have someone else that we need to get, possibly a third line center, uh, but we'll see. So now let's edit these lines here, see what we can do. So Granlin up on that line, and then Stall there, and then Del Cole possibly. Is there anyone else that's scratched? Sam Lafferty. Let's put Michael Del Cole in, substitute in all lines, and let's see if we can get a plus one here somehow. So yeah, we can get a plus one. So the new look. Uh, forward lines, the first line stays intact with uh, Gensel, Crosby, and Raquel. Second line stays intact as well with Kapanen, and Granlin and Zucker. Now the bottom six is where it changes. We got Tanev, Jankowski, and Tierney, McCann, Stahl, and Del Cole. So if we can get a better third line center, sure. If not, I'm kind of content with the uh, forward core that we do have. And then the big name for us is Carter Hart is now our starting netminder. I'm excited to see what he can do in Pittsburgh. He was doing great over in Philadelphia with a 9-10. Um, so Gino now gone, but Carter Hart now our starter with Forsberg still being our backup, who's had a decent year as a back backup for us, to be fair. So that trades out of the books. I know that took a while. Now it is time to start simulating. But before we do that, uh, we have to go do something else as well, actually. So Crosby still has the C. Malkin, or Latang still has an A. We have to give someone else the A here. And in all honesty, I'm thinking we give it to a guy like Eric Stahl. Uh, so let's give it to him. Um, you know, guy with experience um, and wisdom. We'll give it to him. So let's continue the simulation here. Let's see how we do with the first uh, in our first month with our new starting netminder in Carter Hart. 5-2 win, 2-1 win. There we go. This is what we like to see. A nice three-game win streak here. And we're winning games here, boys. I, don't, I do not regret the trade um, so far. So that's good to see. Let's keep it up. So after one month... We are now 30, 15, and 5. Uh, we are sitting second 
in the Metro. Uh, the Flyers are down in fifth. Uh, we are four points behind the Islanders. Same amount of games. Gensel leading the team in points in 50 games. Uh, I want to take a look at my boy Carter Hart, how he did. He went down to an 88, but that's fine. Uh, he's a 916 now. Played a lot of games that um, that stretch there. So good for Carter Hart. Do not regret the trade. He picked us up a lot of wins. We're going to continue simulating. I think we're going to sim to up to the trade deadline since we did make that big move this video. Uh, we'll yeah we'll sim up to the trade deadline and then we'll possibly end it there. Um, so let's see what happens here. So let's continue winning games here, boys. Uh, again, our need for the trade deadline is maybe a third line center, but the team is winning games where they are, which is pretty nice. So um, a day before the trade deadline, we are 37, 18, and six. Uh, we have 80 points, five behind the Islanders. Uh, they have a game in hand, though. Uh, we have a comfortable lead. In second, the Hurricanes are behind us with 73 points, but like that's 73 points. Um, Crosby leading the team with points as he should. Um, and looking at the lines here, everyone's looking pretty happy here. Uh, Del Cole went up two overalls, which is nice to see. Uh, I wonder if we can. Okay, no, he's going to have to stay on the fourth line. Um, the defense is looking great. No overalls went up or down. And Carter Hart here. Um, again, still at a 913, doing pretty good for us. Um, things you just like to see, and I'm 100% not regretting the trade at all. And you know what? We're going to go through the trade deadline in this video, and we'll stop it there. I don't want this to be too long of a video, but here we go. Trade deadline day. We are buyers, and we're just looking for that third line forward, really. I don't know if we're going to be able to make a deal, but if we can, that would be great. But looking at the names here, David Pasternak. My goodness, let's go available. So we have Pasta Patches, Falk, Malkin is now available. So I guess the Flyers are looking to flip him. Interesting. David Savard, Sean Monaghan. So we're looking for a third line um, center. This is what we're looking for here. So let's see if anything comes up that we like, that we can afford um, at this point. All Stasny is a name that's, that's that I find really interesting. One year at 4 mil. We can afford him against the cap right now. What would we have to give up for him? Maybe we start getting rid of some of our rookies because I think this is a chance we have to win it here. Um, so let's go rookie skaters. Who are they interested in? Poolin they're interested in. I don't know if I'm interested in getting rid of him. But if we have to, we're trying to win now. I don't think this goes through one for one. We might have to get rid of someone else as, as well. Um, are they looking for anyone else that we're willing to get rid of here? We throw in a fifth. We're not going to be drafting at all. Let's see if this goes through. Poulin, which uh, it's going to hurt to get rid of him. He's only 22. Um, he has high trade value. I can see him progressing to be something. But we're trying to win this year. So Poulin in a fifth for Paul Stastny. Will this go through? And it did go through. So the one move we needed to make, done. We don't have a lot of draft picks. Um, but guys, um, we are looking pretty good here. Um, and we're we're content. We look like Stanley Cup contenders um, even more now. Um, but looking at our draft picks here, as Jamie Drysdale's head into the Flames in exchange for Sean Monaghan and Dustin Bufflin. Interesting. Um, but if we look at our draft picks here, guys, we only have two draft picks this upcoming offseason. I'm fine with it. Um, if we're looking at our rookie depth, man, it doesn't look great anymore. Um, but you never know. These guys can progress to be something. They're all very, very young. And we're hoping that something comes out of these guys. But like I said, we're trying to win now. So that's really all that matters. Um, so we're going to say here we're done making trades essentially. We're just going to, I'm going to update you guys when there are big blockbuster deals to be made. And then maybe we'll sim the rest of the month. Uh, we'll sim the rest of the season. Whatever. That's not going to take long to do. So we're going to continue with this. I'll let you guys know if there's any big trade uh, trades to happen here. The Flyers have made another splash here. They've traded Sean Couturier. To the Rangers in exchange for a first round in 2023 and a first round of 2024 in Bruder. So they got a they got a good um, two first rounders for Sean Couturier. Um, I wonder what the Flyers are trying to do. I guess they're blowing it up. They're not really placed well in the Metro right now. So I don't know what that's about. But hey, thanks for taking Gino. We'll gladly take your starting netminder. All right, so that is the end of trade deadline. We already saw that trade. Um, Couturier, we saw that trade as well. So those were the big moves. Let's uh, simulate, or ooh, let's see our lines before we do that. I forgot we made that move for Paul Stastny. Um, so we have him on the third line, and I'm loving this, boys. I am absolutely loving this. They have Del Cole in the third. Um, I kind of want to put him there. Keep 
Dal Cole on the fourth line. Um, so looking at the lines, the top six stay the same here. Gensel, Crosby, Granlund. Oh, no, okay. Um, I want it like that, sorry. The top six now does stay the same like that with Gensel, Crosby, and Raquel. Um, actually, maybe Raquel could be a better centerman here. What's his face-off rating here? 67 compared to Granlin's um, 75. So, yeah, we'll keep it like that. So the top six stay the same. The third line now looking new and improved with Jared McCann, the the acquisition of Paul Stastny and Brandon Tanev. I'm very excited to see what this line can do. And then the fourth line being Del Cole, Jankowski, and Chris Tierney. So good luck on the forwards. On defense, I guess we were, I'm pretty content with this. We do have some good depth as well. Um... Don't know why these got all changed around, but they did. But this is what the lines are looking like. They stay the same. And then uh, we have Joel Edmondson, too. Whoa, wait a second. Yeah, I forgot we signed him. So Edmondson is a guy that we can, again, depth uh, depth defenseman. We've had injuries in the past that didn't work out. So we have Joel Edmondson just sitting there waiting for us. We have Eric Stahl scratched for some reason. Hold up. All right, so now the fourth line's looking even better. Eric Stahl, Del Cole, and Tierney. We absolutely love that. Um, yeah, so we'll keep it like that. So now looking at our depth, um, we have Edmondson, Jankowski, and Lafferty. And then in the minors, we got Sean Day, Ricola, but hopefully it doesn't get to um, that point where we have to call these guys up. But I'm liking our depth. The, this is the best team I think we've had in a while since we started um, my tenure here in Pittsburgh. So I have high hopes for this team. Let's simulate the rest of the month, see how we do. The Kings have fired their coach. That sucks. And we are on a two-game losing streak. Let's simulate the rest of this month, see how this goes here. Um, and we do pick up a win to end the streak there, so that's good. Let's keep winning games here, boys. Let's uh, finish as high as we can so we can play um, not the greatest team in the first round and hopefully get by the first round here. So after this month, we are now 27-24-7. We are three wins off of a 50-win season, which is crazy. We are currently sitting in second. The Islanders are having themselves one hell of a season. Um, and the Hurricanes are right behind us as well. So we have 101 points. Um, Crosby is two goals off of a 40-goal season. Uh, one point off of a 90-point season. Um, so that is good to see from him. Um, looking at the lines here, all the overalls seem to be the same. Stasny went down by two, but that's okay. Defense, everything's looking the same. And looking at Carter Hart here, uh, 9-13, he's been holding that steady at that 9-10, 9-13 mark. So good for him. Last uh, four games of the season, if we can win three of them to try to get a 50-win season, that'd be great. First game against Toronto, we take a 2 nothing win. All right, cool. We're two wins off of a 50-win season. We lose to the Islanders. We got to win out, and we lose. So we're not going to hit a 50-win season. That is okay. We do hit a 49-win season. So we end off year three with a 49. What was the record? It's not showing now. We end off... The third year with a 49-26-7 rec record, we sit in second in the Metro, uh, which isn't too bad. Crosby did hit the 40-goal mark, did hit the 90-point mark, so good for him. And looking at the team, the guys are just ready for the playoffs. You can just tell here. Um, looking at Carter Hart, I think he did pick up that shutout there. He picked up a lot of shutouts at the end of the stretch there. He was at four before the trade deadline. He's now at seven, so good for him. He's at a 9-14 now. So we do have a good starting goaltender heading into the playoffs. That is the difference this time around. We don't have Geno this time around as well. But, uh, you know, we had to make that move. So looking here, Crosby uh, ended up with a 90-point season, finished with 93 points. Gensel with an 85-point season. Raquel with 65. Kapanen with 60. Uh, so pretty good stuff from the boys here. Looking at defense, Crystal Tank finished with 31, Ekholm with 29. So not much points being produced from the defenseman, but that is okay with me. And, I mean, we saw the stats of our goaltender here. He went 41, 24, and 8, 7 shutouts, a 9, 10 save percentage. Forsberg did pretty good when called upon in 11 games. He went 8, 1, and 1. Uh, no shutouts, but a 9, 17, which is pretty good. So... Uh, not much more you can ask for in a goaltender. Looking at the entire league, uh, Stamkos finished with 106 points, Sagan with 103, Kane with 94, Kucherov with 94, uh, McKinnon with 94, Crosby finishing there with 93, tied with Barkov, who had similar stats. That is crazy. Barzell's up there, Svetch is up there. Another year where we don't see Matthews or McDavid high up there. They both finished with 81 points. Interesting things to see. But anyways, let's continue the simulation here. See who we play first round. 
and it is the Carolina Hurricanes who had a pretty similar record. They went 49, 28, and 5. So this is going to be an interesting uh, playoff matchup. Looking at the playoff tree here, who is everyone playing? So we got Pittsburgh and Carolina, the Islanders and the Devils, the Leafs and the Sens, the Battle of Ontario, and then the Panthers and the uh, Lightning. And then in the West, we got the Oilers and Canucks, the Ducks and Coyotes, the Blackhawks and the Stars, and then the Avalanche and the Jets. So um, pretty good. Um, first round matchup uh, around the league and a first round matchup for us. It's going to be interesting. Next video, we start the playoffs. And uh, before we do that, I'm going to turn on injuries. So I remember now because I probably won't remember at the start of next video. I'll be too hyped to start the um, playoff round. So injuries are now on. But guys, that is it for today's video. Next video, we start year three playoffs. Round one against the Carolina Hurricanes. Let's see what this Pittsburgh Penguins team can do. Thank you